हेलो व्यूवर्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इस पाक सामून विलाग्स आई एम मीटिंग यू अगेन टुडे आफ्टर ऑलमोस्ट वन वीक एज माय अंकल हैज पास अवे ए फ्यू डेज अगो मे अल्लाह ग्रांट हिम हाईएस्ट प्लेस इन पैराडाइज it is uh, requested to you uh, dear viewers to pray for him so today we are going to discuss uh, election commission of india and its functions uh, it is lecture for class 11 uh, subject political science uh, book 1 constitution of india Uh, topic is election commission of india and its functions uh, it is an autonomous constitutional authority responsible for administering union and state election processes in uh, india so be with me till the end of the lecture let's get started uh, election commission of india uh, was established in uh, on 25th of january 1950 uh, under article 324 of the constitution of india uh, election commission of india is an autonomous constitutional body uh, which is responsible uh, for the administration of the election process at the national and the state level uh, the uh, commission administers the election of the lok sabha state legislative assemblies the president and the vice president uh, uh, before discussing uh, uh, the uh, election commission of india and its functions so we'll just have a slight look uh, on modern democratic processes uh, as we know the modern period is considered is the age of uh, democracy uh, where participation of people is ensured uh, at every level of government uh, in the words of uh, united states <coughs> president ibrahim lincoln uh, democracy is the government of the people uh, for the people and by the people Uh, we know elections have today become the most uh, visible symbol of the democratic process <clears throat> uh, democracy it can be classified into two types direct democracy and indirect democracy which we have discussed earlier so we'll just start our topic and be with me till the end of the lecture let's get started uh, <clears throat> the election commission of india Uh, as we know is an autonomous constitutional authority uh, responsible for administering union and state election processes in india uh, the body administers elections to the lok sabha uh, rajya sabha and state legislative assemblies in india and the offices of the president and the vice president uh, in the country uh, article 324 and article uh, 329 from article 324 to article 329 deals with the power function tenure eligibility of the uh, election commission of india and its members uh, the chief electoral officer is appointed in every state to assist the task of the election commission of india hence the election commission is not uh, responsible for the elections of uh, the local bodies uh, municipalities and panchayats uh, further uh, the election commission of india can either be a single member or a multi member body it was a single member body till 1989 uh, but two more election commissioners were appointed just before the 1989 elections in 1993 two election commissioners were appointed making it a multi member body and has uh, remained uh, till then uh, 
a multi member election commission is more appropriate as power is shared and there is a greater accountability the chief election commissioner uh, presides over the election commission but does not have more powers than the other election commissioners uh, the chief election commissioner uh, and the two election commissioners have equal powers to take all decisions uh, relating to elections as a collective body uh, they are appointed by the president of india on the advice of uh, the council of uh, ministers uh, the constitution of india ensures the security of the tenure of the election chief election commission and the election commissioners they are appointed for a six years term or continue till the age of 65 uh, whichever is earlier the chief election commissioner can be removed before the expiry of the term by the president if both houses of parliament make such a recommendations with a special majority uh, this is done to ensure that a ruling party cannot remove a chief election commissioner that refuses to uh, favor uh, it in elections functions of the election commission of india the election commission of india has a wide range of functions uh, it supervises the regular update of the voters list uh, it ensures that the voters list uh, is free of errors like the non-existence of names of registered voters or the existence of names of those non-eligible or non-existent uh, voters Uh, it also determines the timing of elections and prepares the election schedule. Uh, the election schedule includes the election notification, the start date for filling nominations, the deadline for filling nominations, the last date for filling nominations, the last date for scrutiny, the last date for withdrawal, the polling date and the date for counting and declaring results. Uh, the election commission is solely responsible for elections and has the authority to make decisions that will ensure that elections are conducted in a free and fair manner further on the grounds that the atmosphere is tainted the commission has the authority to postpone or cancel the elections uh, for the entire country or a specific state or a specific constituency uh, it also establishes a model code of conduct for political parties and candidates to follow when it believes the counting process has not been fully fair and just it can order a repoll in a specific constituency or a recount of votes uh, the election commission uh, records recognition to political parties and a lot of symbols to each of them uh, viewers uh, with this we have concluded today's important lecture on election commission of india and its functions uh, in next lecture, uh, we will discuss about uh, universal adult franchise, uh, right to vote, and about uh, first pass to the post system that is known as simple majority system. Uh, till then, Allah Hafiz. Uh, if you want to talk with us, uh, WhatsApp number is visible on screen, email ID is on sp screen. You can contact on both uh, the IDs. Uh, we'll be coming soon. Uh, one request is there. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks. Thanks. Allah Hafiz.